Hello and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and today I've decided to just nip on for a minute or two and make a very quick video showing a couple of magazines that I've got commissions in this month. Um, I don't normally put these on YouTube so I was chatting to someone the other day and um, I just thought I'd do this short one just to let you see some of the things that I do as well. So, um, first of all, there's the Tonic Studios magazine and this is uh, number 15, I think. I'll just check here. Volume 15, yes. Uh, and this is a very special one. This is Creative Stamping and it's issue 100. So the 100th issue of Creative Stamping and you can see there's a really beautiful magazine and two fantastic sets of stamps with it. So I'm going to show you through those. Uh, it's actually divided up into, um, let's see what this one's, remember the reason for the season and these are kind of believe in the miracle and come let us adore him. Some really beautiful stamps in there, more on a religious theme and they, I love using that type of thing so they're beautiful. And then there's some gorgeous snowflakes and trees and baubles and ones here as well. Enjoy the wonders of the season and snowflakes are kisses from heaven. That's one set some examples on the back of cards that you can make with those. And then these other ones are so much fun here. So we've got a sack and Santa penguins. This is cute Christmas, enchanted Christmas. Um, and we've got a lovely little stag and uh, an elf and some beautiful silhouette trees, outlines and whatnot, and sparkle all the way. Actually, the stamps are just fantastic. And I was absolutely delighted to be able to make uh, some cards for the magazine with those. So it's an exclusive collection of four festive stamps, stamp sets. And there they are. So I'll have a little flick through the magazine and let you see that too. So many beautiful cards in here and obviously I just made a few but loads of lovely ones. Now there's Nikki, the editor. And here you'll find all sorts of bits and pieces just to get you started, whet your appetite, your letters and then some of the other beautiful commissions that are in here using some of the other stamps. Really, really gorgeous things that you could see here. I'll put the link for where you can buy this magazine down below. Um, it'll be my affiliate link, so if you fancy having a little look through those, feel free. So yeah, these gorgeous, really, really beautiful things made with all, all you know, so much in those different stamp sets. So there's some beautiful creations that Nikki has made herself there. Um, and we'll just go on through and have a, a quick flick. I'll take you back through here then to the ones that I have made and show you what I've done. I've put a little, so many actually, this, the magazine is just absolutely full. The True Meaning of Christmas, the card maker of the year, the, um, Ashley Thompson, and she's made some beautiful ones with those uh, stamps that I showed you earlier. They're lovely and colourful as well. So, And there's a, a, a lovely feature on Sarah Davies as well there. Very nice. Yes, some beautiful photographs as well. Impressive embossing. Gnome for Christmas. There's Francoise Reed. And um, yeah, so really, really gorgeous cards the whole way through the magazine. And uh, we should be getting to the ones that I have done any moment now. Look at that, isn't that cool? I, lo I love all these beautiful colours. So there's mine. Um, and I've made a circular card here. So I was to make some clean and simple cards this time. So uh, rather than have them totally white in the white space, I've done some flicking with Nouveau alcohol, sorry, Nouveau Aquaflow markers, and I've just sort of given them a little splash across the card, and some mirror card and whatnot on there, and using the lovely stamps. So this is this one here going across this one, making spirits bright. And I was using all turquoises and purples and whatnot for these. And there's a Enjoy the Wonder of the Season with lovely trees on there. Snowflakes and Deck the Halls. Again, these are uh, Aquaflow markers that I've used with those. And that is this lovely stamp here. And then some beautiful snowflakes there again. And all the instructions are there. They're very easy to follow. And uh, I hope you really like those because I really enjoyed making them. And there you can see some more. It is absolutely jam-packed full of absolutely gorgeous stuff. Oh, and yes, uh, 
that's an upcoming feature as well and I have already sent off my cards for that, that issue of the magazine as well. So there we are, that is Creative Stamping issue 100, a very very special edition. And then I'll have a little look at this tonic one as well. So. This is a boxed one that comes in this box here and then the magazine is not the one that's done in-house by Tonic but this is the one that's a continuation of some of the magazines that we already had uh, from uh, Practical Publishing. Let me just check here. So let's have a little look. In, in this magazine you get free, a lovely free gift. There are three different things in it. So first of all there is a little die set and there's a snowman there and there's little pieces to decorate them all up. Little hats and whatnot, faces, bows, mittens, arms and a little cane. So that's that. A couple of examples, different things that you can make on the back there. And I just want to have a little look here as well. Let me see. We've got a little stencil. I hope you can see that okay there. It should be, yeah. And there's hills and whatnot, but I'll show you when I get to my cards what I've done with those and a really cute little stamp set as well. So this is the this, this stencil here. You can see it better in the magazine. But actually in the middle of this magazine, says all these beautiful cards that everyone else has made as well. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Really, really lovely. Um, when we get back to what I've made here, there's some beautiful ones there too from Sarah Jackman Mead. Look, lovely little stocking and some decorations. But these are my cards. Just before I go on to those, I want to show you that you get lots of lovely paper in here. So this whole section uh, are uh, papers, double-sided papers. You can see they've got some uh, sentiments on them as well, toppers and whatnot. And the papers are really, they are actually really good quality. So you have all that as well and then lots more at the back of the magazine. Lots and lots of things for you to see. But here are my cards. And I'll show you what I've done this time. So, so the name of the whole feature is called Do You Want to Build a Snowman? And I've used the dies then to build up these different snowmen here. And I've used alcohol markers to add some shading both to the actual snowman and the elements that I've added on. Like the little carrot nose and the hats and scarves and uh, mittens different hats and scarves. So there you are. Some speciality paper here with um, glittery pieces on it and uh, well there's quite a lot of scope for adding these arms and things on in different ways and uh, different backgrounds and things too. So this one is actually on a snowflake shaped card and then this obviously is a little different at the top here and then a circular card that opens up. So I hope you like those. Um, they're, they're actually quite a fun little set. You turn the page there and on each card it'll tell you exactly what you need to create the the card and then all the different steps to making it. So there you are. Another little quick flick through the rest of this and you can see that's die cutting essentials too. I do uh, magazine commissions in that one as well. I must, sh must show you some of those sometime too. So aren't those beautiful? Some really, really gorgeous things in there. I know I've said that a few times, but I have really enjoyed that. So there you are. That's the little die set, the stencil, and the stamps that are the free gift in that one as well. So I, I hope you've enjoyed that, and uh, I'll come back at a later stage and show you some more. But in the meantime, don't forget, if you have enjoyed the video, give it a little thumbs up, and I'd love you to subscribe as well, and that way you'll see more of what's coming next. Thank you very, very much in the meantime. Bye-bye.